Good evening, everybody, and I hope you're all keeping well out there in YouTube land. Um, right, there's been a question already in the chat from Darren. Um, I'm sure, that, did you write it down, Jamie? You did, didn't you? Yeah, I've got it, mate, I've got it. Yeah, grand. That can come up in a bit. Right, I'll bring the guys in. And tonight for your delectation, we've got JP. We've got... Come on, Jake, come on. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> We've got, We've got Deal, Deal the Timber, who is, well, not at the moment, but earlier on today, started getting some trees taken down on his property. And we've got Shug as well. So um, they are going to be keeping me up to date with what's going on in the chat. I can see it's going to be one of them nights again. <laughs> I'm quite worried. And tonight, what I'm doing tonight, I um, didn't have much time for prep because I was doing shop duty today. Uh, so when I got home, I just picked up a cherry log, split it down the middle on the bandsaw, and I'm going. it's still pretty wet, so I'm going to rough turn this so it can go away to get dried out. And then the other half of it, I'm going to rough turn that as a natural edge so that can go away to get dried out as well. So... Turning at around about 600. And I'll start turning. The guys can let me know what's happening. Uh, do you want me to do it now or are you going to do it this time? Or the same I'll, do it, time? I'll do it. I'll do it. So Andy H <coughs> is returning. Mary Chetty. Circular Keith by Wood. Darren. Eric. Gerard. Sean. James. Welcome. Mark, Michelle, thank you. Ready to go, teams. Bam, come back down. Deep Neil, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Peter Corrigan, Robert Dolman, Robin Buys and DIYs, Roger Mills, Stuart and Grulia, Terry Bartlett, The Wood Dude, Tommy's Workshop, Tommy Smith, some character called Wayne The Wood Turner. YV Woodshed, there was a few other people popped in there. I think Dory Sixty jumped in there while I was reading this out. <laughs> cool, cool. Hello, so we, uh, as uh, as always, we have a question of the day. But this question this week uh, on the Wednesday has come from uh, uh, coming way of from Darren Callison, and uh, the question is: If Drilly was an animal or insect, what one would it be? Ooh. I'd say a praying mantis, praying that this piece of wood stays on the lathe. <laughs> I think he'd nope. be a mos I think he'd be a mosquito. Oh yeah. Reason noisy. Irritatingly yeah, noisy. Woodpecker. I think Darren said he mosquito. Darren said he'd be a termite. That's what Darren said. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going for Death Watch Beetle. That's where I'm, I'm sticking with that one. Nope. Fred says, uh, a dog is he me? Maybe we're going to get a visit via Bryn. Uh, no, that would be a squirrel. <laughs> that would be Kasha barking at the cows in the field. That back a bit. Michael McEwen's in, and Steve oh, Ash. Evening, guys. Good evening to everybody, and thanks for coming along. As you may have heard, Jamie did mention something there about the piece of wood staying on the lathe. So for Saturdays now. I've actually given Saturday Night Lives a title. And it's going to be... Because up to now, I've done four Saturday Night Lives. Um, and two of them, I've had a cock up in. So Saturday Night Lives are now going to be called Saturday Night Screw-Ups. <laughs> if you have two mess-ups in one show, does that still only count as one? <laughs> Does, it, does that make last week's show null and void? 
<laughs> or, 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 or is it? Or, or do you go out to make a show intentionally to uh, screw up? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure yet. From from now on, I've got a funny feeling. <laughs> Anything goes. You go out to make a little box, and you end, end up making a bowl. <laughs> Or a frisbee, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lionel, Sam, how you doing, buddy? Hello, uh, Lionel. And um, Robin's boys and DIYs. Grand. Uh, good evening, Jennifer. Hello, uh, Jen. Good evening. Hey, Jennifer. Uh, can you translate that, JP? Yeah, it says, uh, it says, hello, when are we going to see Drilly? <laughs> We're not, not tonight. <laughs> I'm going to say, I don't think Sorry. I want to go anywhere near that with Drilly. <laughs> it actually says, Bonsoir, ha 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 Mike Hughes got a question. He says, uh, question, 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 question. What are the pros and cons of the Simon Hope red, and red, blue, or yellow handles? Different sizes. That's all. This one is um, a 13 mil <coughs> or half an inch. This one is a 16 mil or five eighths of an inch. And the yellow one, I believe, is around about 11 mil. It's either 10 or 11 mil. Um, the pros of them, is, especially with these ones, is that it's basically twist to open. We just slot the gouge in, tighten it up, and then that's it done. And it means you can just have one handle for a lot of different tools. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, some people do buy interchangeable handles and then just have interchangeable handles on every tool they've got. Mm -hmm. uh, woodworm pulls, uh, slid in sideways from that. How you doing, buddy? Hello, mate. So, uh, while we have uh, 62 lovely people in at the moment, I'm going to make a uh, a little small request. If you haven't watched uh, Wayne's video as of Sunday, uh, please go back and watch it. Uh, it was a great video, um, a, vi a video, kind of a collab, if you want to put it that way, between what Wayne and myself. I kind of uh, copied Wayne, and uh, my video's in a little you bit did, better than Wayne. I find that, find that a bit unfair. That I kind of stole Wayne's idea, and uh, Wayne's Andy not used, really. Andy used my music. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's probably why it's doing better. I like how you say. <laughs> I like how you say kind of steal. <laughs> kind of stole it. I, I was basically yeah. straight out ripped it off. I ain't afraid I to say, say it. That. There's no kind of about it, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I did tell him though. He did. He did. <laughs> Uh, Darren says, some people have very deep pockets, lol. Speaking about deep pockets, uh, out at the top of the link, uh, the link at the top of the page, there's uh, a link to Wayne's Buy Me A Coffee, which is really buy him a wine. Um, so if you want to support Wayne, or, or at least try and get him drunk, um, and you can take advantage of him, uh, you can uh, you can buy Wayne a coffee, or, uh, which is really buy him a wine. Um, Lionel's got a question for you, Wayne. Yeah. He says, he says uh, what is that timber? Is it cherry? It's cherry, yes. This is a, a piece uh, or a branch of cherry uh, from a cherry tree that I brought down in my garden earlier on this year. Pete says, count your fingers after that bark removal, Wayne. Yeah, looks like he's still got nine. <laughs> That's good. Cool. 
Darren says, smash that like button, folks. Go on, burn some calories. <laughs> I love the way he says that. Copper Owl would turn in Zen as well. And I don't hey, Rob. He was in earlier on. I uh, think he was. That's cool, look. God, Gerard's putting me through my French, uh, through my French paces tonight, isn't he? Yeah, he was yeah. like, he's going, uh, Lionel, hi, 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 He said, um, first day off in seven days. Um, he works, uh, he's, it's uh, the first of four 12 hour days, you know, I mean, he's working on. That's what he says. Yeah. Oh, right. I thought he wanted to see Frilly as well. So that's how it works. I mean, yeah, it's, not gonna be any, is, it's not exactly what he said, but it's close enough. He uh, did say, and, and JP is crazy. Is in. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're saying is then that it's a waste of time get ex expecting JP to uh, translate it because he's really an imposter. Yeah. We, we're, we're, re re we're really need Barry in. in. Yeah, <laughs> Le Barry. <laughs> Le Barry. <laughs> <sighs> Happy Le Barry. Uh, Paula Thompson is in. There's high oil, hey, Wayne Paula. and earworms. Hello. We are not of relation. <laughs> we are not, not really. <laughs> Is that Auntie Paula? Mm. Yeah, that's Auntie Paula. Hello, Auntie Paula. Hello. Well, she's not my auntie. She's my sister, but... Are you right? Yeah. She's every everybody else's auntie. My French is shocking. That's, that's, that's nice. awesome. So it is. My Latin's better. My swearing is awesome. Pat <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cummings in the chat as well. How you doing? And Woodworm Paul has a question for you, Wayne. What yep. is your opinion of the Colwyn Way skew? Uh, oh, I've never used one. You be getting one. I've never used one, so I can't. <laughs> give any thoughts on that at all really so watch this space just make up some stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you maybe have if you gave information on it why new uh, viewers might go up yeah you have 75 <laughs> beautiful people watching when excellent thanks guys <laughs> That is a lovely piece of wood, isn't it? Yeah, the green should really come out on this. I'm leaving this quite thick as well, obviously, because it'll warp when it's drying out. The ever awesome Jen Smiths is out there from Jen's Tones. Hey, Jen. That's just Jake's out there laughing at something. You never know. You never know. You never know. That's because he's a loony. He's a loony. I don't expect anybody to argue. 
Mark Shorten is now in. Good evening. Uh, Doug's, uh, Doug Miller's in. He says, um, where's the comment on? It's just quickly flown by. Let's quickly scroll up. He says, uh, I would love a skew, uh, I would love a skew turner to give an honest review of the Colin Way skew. And Darren says, uh, I'm with you, Doug, so who's buying Robo One? Well, I only use his carbides. <laughs> He's not in, is he? Because if he was in, he'd start swearing at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gra Graham Hain is in. You say this one's going to be rough turned, Wayne. Yeah, they're just going to be rough turned. The how, how thin are you planning on going thin, thin with it? Right, I'm... Um, no. It seems you're going pretty thin. No, that's... No, that's still a good thickness on that, mate. It's got a little bit of girt to it. Yeah, it's still got a, a bit of thickness there. That's about... What is that? About three quarters of an inch? Uh, just over three quarters. Um, what wood is it, win? Cherry. Um, <laughs> Robert Dolman says, uh, Darren, if you buy one for Robo, make sure he only uses it for pens. <laughs> <laughs> Darren says there is a carbide in his workshop just so he can hurl it around. <laughs> Every time he throws that carbide, he says my name while he does it. <laughs> I'm going to leave the centre thicker than the um, the wings on this because what I'm wanting to do is put another mortise on the inside of this. So when I come yeah, to yeah. return it, I can actually put it on the mortise on the inside and then get the outside finished properly. You're right, David. I am here, Wormin. Um, also, for for people that don't know, um, I am doing uh, 31 videos in 31 days in the month of December. Um, of I had a tally up. I had a tally up today of how many I've got, and I've got about 28 videos all done and edited. So, get in there. Actually, I've got 21 video, 22 videos already edited <laughs> completely. Um, the, the other ones are uh, almost edited. I've just got to add the music to it. Hashtag not Wayne's music. You don't know Hashtag what Surprisingly, there's a few Christmas projects in there. I can't stand Christmas. <laughs> Bar humbug. Bar humbug. Yeah, you know, I might make a black. I might make a black and white sheep and call it a bar humbug. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, that'll be mint. <laughs> That's what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do you know what I might make? I might make a black and white sheep and give it to Wayne. Bar humbug. 
Willie Pye says, Clive Leeson was for the rest of us, man. That's all right. Dale just got a new supply. Yeah. He's helping out everybody new, else. A new new supply of Sycamore and Beach, I believe, isn't the deal? Yep. Six. Right, so six what I've done... Three. Sorry. Six whole trees. Six whole trees. So nice. I've made another mortise in the middle. I've left the middle... Oh, again, it's probably about three quarters of an inch. Um, just guesstimating that. So I've got that done. So when I come back to return this once it's dried... Basically, what I can do is just flip it over, stick the chuck onto here, and then I can get the outside trued up and finished off and everything. Um, so that's all that sorted. It doesn't take long to rough turn a bowl, which is why I've got another one. Uh, well, Jake and Jen are sending hearts to each other. Jake, calm yourself. Oh, shit, that was uh, for me. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Graham Haynes says, uh, I bought a cold wind skew uh, and it still catches. Uh, <laughs> Knights Eternal says, uh, Bar Humbug. That's a good name for a pub. Right. This one is way out of balance. So I'll turn the speed down. Stand over this side. Uh, Jen San. Hi, Jake. Or oh, hey, Jake. Okay. That's James Miss Crawford Creations, by the way. Hey, Jim. It's, like the, it's like the trousers of turning over here. Right, I'm up at about 500. And the lathe is just starting to wobble. How many times do you think Colwyn Way has had someone walk up to him and cite the line from the Mandalorian, this is the way, and point at him? <laughs> <laughs> so how you leave me alone to think quietly for a minute just, just <laughs> that. that's what we get uh, Carl uh, Teasdale says does Colwyn Way use a signature skew to trim his fingernails and that's why Wayne doesn't use one oh yeah, there's, there's, there's a conversation <laughs> Uh, hey, no, I don't, I, I don't it? use one because I, I don't use one because I can't afford to buy one. That's why I don't use one. <laughs> uh, hey, Mozza, be... uh, Mozza says hello, Woodcraft Gallery. Good evening. So I've got a question, right? What would your, what would your, so, you know, I mean, uh, there's at least four of us fathers on this, four of us on this that are earworms. What should your, what would your earworm nickname be? <laughs> what, what should my earworm nickname be? Yes. Uh, I already have one. Go on. The earworm I have? No, Jamie no, no. Pie. The, the neck, the neck. <laughs> Jamie Pie or Jakey Pie. <laughs> he can't oh. steal mine. Which yours then, Jamie? Sorry? Which yours then, Jamie? Mine was Jamie Pie, but I think that's just uh, a nickname Jake gave me. Oh. Oh. Shut yeah, I don't know, mate. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've, I've been given, you know, half a dozen nicknames so far. I mean, we've had uh, we've had uh, Huverotti, um, Huverotti, Sugarina, like <laughs> Sugarina, and yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Oh, we can, we can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go with yeah, the yeah. Of the evening. <laughs> I reckon so. Jimmy Pie, the Jake, the Tea Boy, you know, Huverotti. So what's mine? Uh, 
it is Jacob T. Boy. I'm I'm sweet. I'm sweet tea, and you're it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Like it. I could be JP. <laughs> yeah. I asked a question for everybody. You could be, be, be PG Tips. Be me PG Tips. What you about? <laughs> There's very oh, little in my me. life could be rated PG. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on about Jamie. You've got, you've got, you've got sweet tea, IT. And then you can either have iced tea or PG tips. Mine would probably be opinionated and then it begins with a T and ends in a T and it's only got four letters. <laughs> mint. Mint. <laughs> I thought mm -hmm. I said I went I, I went with Tet, but then I realized it only three letters. <laughs> Darren said he'd have Gaza. Uh, he also says 76 watch only 35 thumbs up. Come on, uh, surely you like what you see. Burns and calories, smash that like button. That's the one, it's free. Uh, and, and, and Carl Teals Teasdale has suggested tart, <laughs> <Appeal Yeah. laughs> tart. <laughs> no, the two, the two, middle, the two middle letters, sugar lump, sugar two lump. middle letters are <laughs> W and E. Taught. <laughs> no. and, and Darren says, question, question, question. This is going to come up mint. So I'm not figuring that. <laughs> I love it. Oh, well, yeah. it is Greenwood. So we've, got, we've got Jake at the moment trying to fit mint into every sentence. No, <laughs> so, because, no. because it's uh, awesome. He, he, rushed, he rushed down from the store last night, so Hugh and I can give him a couple more words. <laughs> but we won't go there. <laughs> no, yeah, we can't do that. I was that. just going to say, we won't go there. <laughs> yeah. Put it this way, Huey was a bit intoxicated when he decided to do it. Yeah, no wrong with that. We do need to ask for. We do need to ask the audience as to whether or not "menger" is the kind of word we should teach Jake. It was similar to that. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't there, but I kind of. I think I know Huey well enough. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine where he's going to go when he's a bit hammered? <laughs> yeah. It didn't take long to get there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Dispersion. I'm, I'm saying nothing. It was rather uh, it was rather a nice brew. I, can must, I must admit. Enjoyed it. <laughs> I went to Maybe bed. I was tired. Cutting the pint. Looking forward to try and age bespoke's mead. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's uh, he seems to be happy uh, playing around with it, doesn't he? Yeah. All right, let's get some shape into this thing. Nice. More. more? Please, sir, can I have some more? I've got the feeling some of this bark is going to fly off. Right. You'll probably lose it under the shavings anyway. So it's right, all plenty of laughs tonight. Uh, Darren says, I know I shouldn't say this, but Benny's being very quiet tonight. He is. Uh -oh. I haven't even seen him in yet. Oh, come here. Oh, don't. You have to say it three times, don't you? Yeah. Benjamin. Benjamin. Yeah, okay. I'm not saying it again. <laughs> Willie Pye says, when I googled Wayne, he described him with a four-letter word with a C, a U, and a T in it, and it was cute. Hey! <laughs> They're all going, Ben, Ben, Ben.
Copper House says, Jedi. JPN Company in. He says, Mr. Wayne, uh, OT, Esquire, means you can change double, charge double for your work. <laughs> <clears throat> we should get Wayne a lordship. Lord Jedi. Oh, he's already in. He's at Macy's or Mackey's. The Lord Jedi. Yeah, this box is going to come flying. Should be good for a laugh. Well, yeah, be a good giggle. It's funnier when you throw it. Yeah. Copper House says, yeah, did I say a lordship? Yeah, I said a lordship. You can buy them online. <laughs> Isn't that right, Reverend James? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, for example, I got ordained and I'm not actually a reverend. <laughs> That's scary. That is so scary. And awesome. <laughs> <laughs> The wood dude says, I have a dude ship. <laughs> <laughs> David McHale's just come in. He says, hello, everyone. Just dropping in for a bit. I'm still at work and trying to get things wrapped up. Hello, David. Right, Dave. David? Woolly Polly, a pastafarian. <laughs> I'm a pastafarian. Pastafarian. I'm, I'm, I'm a pastafarian. I've even got. I've even. I'm even ordained in the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. <laughs> you know. In fact, if anyone is on my Facebook, if anyone's been on my Facebook, you'll even see the certificate. <laughs> yeah. I'm available for I'm available for uh, uh, pizzas, um, eat outs, um, um, funerals and weddings. Weddings, funerals, and bar mitzvahs. No, no, we'll, we'll be leaving alone the bar mitzvahs. We don't want anyone making a mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paula, Paula said, uh, "I don't think I think she called me a twit, but I'm also sure it's a, a typo." <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> no way. Uh, he, he says he has a star named after him. I own land on the moon, apparently. Same. <laughs> I've got an acre Martin in at Woody, moon. Martin Martin at Woody Creations is in. Apparently, Robert Goldman gifts. says a star named Peter. <laughs> Apparently, it was one of those gifts, Dale, that I was given because it's. Oh, uh, we don't know what to give him. An axe, Mr. Voucher, would have been fine. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, me, me, me being ordained as a priest is like the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> imagine going to get. Imagine you're going to get married and having me rock up. No. <laughs> uh, Darren says, so for all those that bought bits on the moon, I can sell you a bridge. <laughs> to the moon? I've got one of them. <laughs> There's an app for that. I've, I've got, no, I've got a bridge. I was just going to get a tin of orange beans um, and a funnel uh, and some uh, wooden spoons and go up with my mate. I've got an album called Stairway to Heaven. I've got a granny in the sass and she was excused boots. <laughs> that's, a, that's an old one from the army, that is. Nobody will get that unless they were in the army. I thought it was just me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're you're a good comment on this one, Jake. 
I think they said it would be a different <laughs> music at the ceremony. I didn't yeah. understand the words or the meaning. How much? <laughs> uh, the Woodsy says, I now own a huge piece of satin and I'm willing to sell some. <laughs> Nobody wants your ring. <laughs> Nobody wants a bit of satin. Everyone who buys bits of satin are full of gas. <laughs> Lots of methane, very trumpeter. A uh, quarter inch, uh, Gerard, quarter inch is smaller. What is? How much? Quarter inch or three eighths. Right, well, let's see what speed I can get on this now. Woolly Pie said there's a nice pub on the moon. Great beer, but no atmosphere. <laughs> <In> Fiji. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll probably end up getting sent there at some point. It's inevitable. <laughs> Absolutely inevitable. <laughs> Uh, and Knights Eternal says, wasn't Excused Boots a strip cartoon character? No idea. Oh, I don't know. Apparently, uh, Carl Teasdale says, Uranus isn't selling well. That, don't, that all depends if you live in Brighton or not, to tell you the truth. So, <laughs> and, S- and on, Snakes is in. <laughs> so, Snakes. Hey, hey, hey Clive. Have you calmed down yet? Oh, he hasn't been on. He hasn't been running again, has he? Uh today was the worst one yet. He, he got mad about something. Yeah, I don't believe it. Um, yeah, Someone no, looked at him while he was driving. I think uh, quarter inch is about six mil. It is. And Paul Kavanagh said, I'd love a piece of Uranus. I suspect, <laughs> and I'd like to just kind of just put it out there, that, that, that this conversation is deteriorating. <laughs> is, it, is it me or is it uh, called Uranus now? Because of these kind of jokes. It's technically referred to as Uranus by most Americans. However, all of us who grew up in the UK and our and nine-year-old is chuckling. His inner nine-year-old is chuckling would say Uranus. I've never heard that other word. It's Uranus. <laughs> it's definitely Uranus. Uh, three eighths is uh, eight mil. Seven. Seven is it? Seven mil. I stand yeah. to that. I'm sure it's I don't. Yeah, no, I don't no, no. It, it will. No, a quarter is six mil, so three yeah. eighths is going to be nine mil. Okay, okay. Because an eighth is three mil. Yeah, that'll do then. Can we get this speed up any higher? Oh, a little bit. Well, that's better. He's going to be playing bowls after they've finished Wayne. Any colouring or Sorry? anything on them? 
Are these going to be oh, playing no. bowls or any colouring on them? No, they're going to be playing. No, Carl, not tonight, only on Saturdays. Yeah, this is a professional day right here. Well, it depends how much you make Wayne laugh. For instance, there are 84 people watching right now. You have 46 <laughs> wonderful thumbs up. Um, no, this, even on a Saturday night, the only colour will probably be the, the colour of the year, and that will probably be blue like it was last Saturday. It'll be, <laughs> it'll be, it'll be azure. <laughs> yeah. It'll be midnight blue because things get dark real quick on a Saturday. Real quick. Dark, dark. It wasn't dark. It was awesome. Cool. I didn't see any <laughs> darkness. Folks, remember if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, remember and hit that subscribe button and give that notification bell a ring so you get notified of all the content that Wayne produces. Um, at the top of the chat, you'll find a link to buy me a coffee. That's really a wine. So, but we're not allowed to put a wine in it. So it's really buy me a coffee which allows you to say thank you to Wayne by buying the man a coffee and for all the hard work and all the effort he puts into doing these lives to make sure that that funding gets channeled properly into making sure that he's able to do more of these week in, week out. No more. Go on. Just do it now. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> We find that we find that four coffees, <coughs> wines, <coughs> coffees, are, are sufficient to get Wayne tipsy. You know. Did, did um, you just say four okay. coffee? Four coffee. <laughs> four coffee. And I'm not done yet, Wayne. I'm not done yet. However, if you oh, want right, to see Wayne drunk, if you want to see Wayne drunk, you have to go to eighteen. <laughs> yeah. If you want to see Wayne drunk, you've got to turn up at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> You know, because that, that, that's find... when the opinion that's when the opinion the twat comes. Oh bloody hell! I, I, I find I find the more efficient route is to buy him a bottle of Nika whiskey. That seems to be far more efficient than any number of coffees. He's not wrong. I turned up at his house at five o'clock in the morning. I got a breakfast. <laughs> Carl says, why does it always seem that there's a thumbs down, though? Because someone's being a... I think I'll so there. Let's be clear someone's here. being a Uranus. No, no, let's be clear here. Great thing about the thumbs up and the thumbs down. The way the YouTube search engine works, and let's be clear, it's a search engine. Whenever you hit that thumbs up, you're expressing a personal preference that gets mapped against your profile for this content and this style of content. So if you're hitting thumbs down, you are registering that you don't like this style of content. Um, so the effect is, is that it's making sure that this kind of content doesn't show up again in your feed. Now, if you're crazy enough to also have hit the subscribe button and the notification button, what you're actually going to do is nothing. <laughs> Joe, see you Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. Go on, take hey, it away. Joe. Click that thumbs up and let's uh, and let's and let's play this content together. Martin at Woody's Creation said he had a couple of hours in the shed yesterday and made a couple of baubles, but he made the inside oh. bigger than the outside on both of them. Then turned a piece of ecky, but missed a crack in it. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh dear! Oops. Zed's in. Oh, hi, Zed. Hi, Zed. Hey, Zed. Hey, Willie. 86 beautiful humans watching this wonderful, wonderful evening's live demo from, from Wayne's psych psychiatric cave. <laughs> uh, the Yorkshire Gets in as well. How you doing, Glenn? Ms. Joe, Ms. Git, how are you? Oh, uh, Mr. Git, my apologies. <laughs> Wait, how am I doing? I need to go a bit deeper. 
So about how long will you wait before you turn these the second time? Uh, probably about three or four months, Jake. Do you, is there a way you tell if they're ready, or is it moisture meter, or you just no, buy them? You buy no, I them, don't Jake. have a, I, do, I don't have a moisture meter. I usually just guesstimate. He bathes them. I've seen him do it. He bathes them. Yeah, the Jedi stuff. He does the. Yeah, yeah. He it. If he can sink his teeth into it and it leaves a mark, then it's not ready. He just looks at it and says, "You're, you're dry." Yeah. <laughs> you know? No, no. It, he saves. He saves that for other people. Oh. He puts it on the fire, and when it's turned to ash, he knows it's dry. He tries it on his glass in the evening because people won't buy him a coffee that's really a wine. You know, <laughs> that's actually a coffee that's really a wine. He has to look at it, so you're dry. Kind of. Thing. Funnily enough, yeah. uh, talking talking about the fire, that's where that yarn bowl is at the moment. Splendid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're joking, man. You're joking, man. You mean Jimmy didn't try to buy it as a practice piece? <laughs> nah, I don't want to buy that. <laughs> Not after he threw it on the floor. <laughs> <coughs> oh, it's, uh, it's Andy H's birthday today. Happy birthday, Andy. Happy yeah, birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday Andy. Andy. Celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Right, what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to put the mortise in for my, um, the chuck with the O'Donnell jaws in, and I'll explain why in a second. Have you ever tried so the O'Donnell? The O'Donnell jaws, as you can see, are longer. So when I flip this round, if I was to put a mortise in here and flip it round on the existing jaws, chances are part of the the wings here might go all the way back and hit the headstock. I don't <laughs> think they will, but there's a chance that that it could, or they might hit the the outside of the jaws on on the bottom of the bowl. So using the O'Donnell jaws, seeing as how they're longer. If I use the mortise that's on here, chances are that won't happen. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Cause I can. We're turning by Barry's in as well. How you doing, buddy? Hello, Barry. Hey there. Here we are. Now, in a couple of weeks' time, I'll not be doing a Wednesday night live because I've been asked to uh, do a bit of a talk on a um, internet-based wood turning club, and they always meet on a Wednesday night. And also, that's on the the third of November. That is. Um, on the 13th of November, which is a Saturday, I'll probably not be doing um, a Saturday night live because I'll be going down to Glyn Seniors. He's having a, a bit of an open day. I'll be going down there for the weekend, so I'll not be available on the Saturday. There, on the Saturday that we're at Glynn's, there may well be some um, lives, Facebook lives and stuff going out throughout the day because we're hoping to get finished the big ball that we started turning, oh, when was it? February last yeah, year, I think. Yeah, it was either, yeah mm -hmm. Feb February, March last year, I think it was, we started turning that. Which indeed. started off, it started off as three foot diameter by 12 inches deep. Um, but I think with the amount that it's dried out and warped, I don't think it's going to end up anywhere near that sort of size. But we are going down in a couple of weeks 
to get that finished. Um, Stuart, uh, ask your question. Says, uh, if you didn't use the O'Donnell jaws, might it not interfere with tightening the chuck? It may well interfere with tightening the chuck, but seeing as how these sides dip, what I'll try and do is actually position um, the um, where I tighten the chuck. I'll try and that position that at one of the one of the dips, so I can actually get in there. Very good question, though. All right, let's grab the other one. Change the camera so you can see what we've got done tonight. Now, obviously, I've done that in what's that? Fifty minutes. I've getting these two done. If I yeah. like, if I go, if I go up to deals, on, well, I am going up to deals on Friday. But depending on how much wood I bring back, Manchester what I'd carry. actually do, <laughs> yeah, I'd. I'd um, because I don't think I'm going to bring the trailer up. I'm just going to stick it on the car. But I'm, I'm bringing me chainsaw anyway. Cool. But uh, what what I do is get it all prepped uh, into the round, and then probably spend a full day purely um, getting them turned down, ready to dry. That's probably what I'd do. We're going right, to have to so work out how we're going to get the big bits in the back of the car. Yes, <laughs> I think they are going to need the trailer. There's going to need some big, I mean, some properly big bits. I put my arms around one of the trees earlier on, and it must be a good 24, 36 inch. Ooh, oh, hell. nice. What sort of length have they cut them in? Uh, right now they're still standing, so they're coming down. Tomorrow. Oh, right, okay. Right, they're coming down tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to get them to keep a few of them fairly big for, for, for uh, slabs, and then we'll see what comes next. Okay. You know, I'll take some pictures and you can you can you can put an order in. Grand. Right, so that's the first one. So that's been turned or it'll, it'll end up as a winged bull uh, crotch piece. It's got some nice figuring in the middle here. Yeah. Uh, so oh, that should yes. stand out really nice once it gets nice finished. Night. And the next one is going to be a natural edge, as you can see. And again, at right at the the crotch piece here. That's got some really nice figuring in there as well, which is really going to stand up. It's got a f they've both got a, a few cracks in there, uh, basically where the pith has been. Um, not overly concerned about them. I'll just whack a load of super glue in there. Um, probably in the morning, I'll do that. I'll not do that tonight. Probably do that in the morning, and then stick them in some shavings. Because I've got I've got a fair amount of shavings here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> I just take them, off the, take them off the shelf or off the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, I've got a dust collector over there or a chip collector over there that's half full of shavings. Because the stuff that's on the floor uh, basically got burnt tonight. But I've got some new stuff to burn tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, that's me. Okay. Um, yeah, a little bit shorter than usual. Um, that's because I fell in a hole. No, okay. You're cold. You want to try, you want some shavings. <laughs> right then, there's the guys back in. Um, bring the YouTube chat up. It's usually quicker than the StreamYard chat. Uh, even in the beard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. Someone's mentioned beard. Look, I'll look at Jamie. Look. Oh, no. <laughs> Darren, I, to tell you the truth, Darren, I don't think it's anything to do with you, people putting um, thumbs down when you're in live streams. I really don't. It's just people <laughs> being being twat at, at the end of the day. That's what it is. I love that. Um, <laughs> well, it is. Um, yeah. Have you seen this, though? Have you seen this? Look, look. That's what you call a face of concern. Okay? <laughs> Face? Bothered? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Pete, I feel Pete, bad. Pete, I feel. Peter Corcoran I, I feel says. Like I did uh, Peter Corcoran says, "Don't take it off the floor, Wayne. You'll get accused of tidying you know? up." <laughs> I did. I feel like I feel like you do something wrong if you don't get, you know, three or four thumbs down every video. <laughs> Remember, folks, it's, it doesn't matter. I mean, what they're actually really, doing really is they're doesn't. helping you. It really doesn't matter. It's the only thing, it. the only thing I've noticed about when I give anybody a thumbs up, and I usually, but I do usually give people thumbs up when I watch the videos. The only things I have noticed about giving a thumbs up is 
it gets put in my save videos. That's about the only thing I notice about it. Because any, because any, because any liked videos, absolutely, that's what it's for. Yeah, so it comes so, down says you don't like it. It's 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 exactly what it says. I like this. I want to see more of this. I don't like this. I don't want to see more of this. Oh, and then for a lunatic and the subscribed, they're going to get it anyway. So you know, go figure. <laughs> oh my god, I can see, I can see you again. <laughs> you know, just with my glasses, I can see you again. Right, guys, I'm going to call it there. I'm going to go in the house and uh, grab a coffee. <laughs> Is it be a flavoured coffee wine, yeah. <laughs> Merlot. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's wine flavoured. Like it's uh, got no milk in it. <laughs> right, I'm going to press the button now. Oh, I better say thank you to everybody that came along. Very much appreciated.